Good afternoon, YouTube. So this is the drive pulley end of my Grizzly G4000 lathe. So it's a 9 by 20 metal cutting lathe. And one of the problems I ran into the other week is on the drive belt here, it started slipping. And you can see this is the old bell, pretty beat up. It's chewed up here and the rubber is cracked on the back side. So this is a belt. It's a it's called a 5M730, so it's a metric belt, nominally 5 millimeters wide and 730 millimeter around. So anyway, this one was slipping. What I noticed was when I ran the large drill bit into some material, the lathe stalled out and it was just spinning the belt. So I had a spare. There was my spare belt. Purchased this from Grizzly. Oh, some some years ago and the other belt lasted a long time that one lasted about a week I had a part jam up on me and just instantly snapped what I did was found a place that had the real Gates belt so this is the Gates 5M 730 I got this off of eBay the seller was called One Pet Palace and I'll put a link to their eBay listing. They have them for about $10, and I got them in a couple of days. I think it was about three days. I did pay for the uh, priority mail shipping. But there, there you can see it's a real Gates belt. I don't recall that the uh, belts from Grizzly had any manufacturer information on them. I don't see any printing. But anyway, I got this, so we'll put that on and try it. But the other thing I tried, just out of interest, was I tried 3D printing a belt. So this is printed out of uh, nylon string trimmer filament. And you can see it's like that is strong. I mean, I cannot break that. Just to show you that it actually works, we'll put it back on the lathe there. And we can fire it up. So you can see it works. The belt actually runs. The only problem is I can uh, slow the lathe down. So this uh, the only problem with the nylon, it's strong, but it's also slippery. So it, it has essentially the strength of the regular V-belt, but it's, it's just a little too slippery. There's not enough friction in the material. That actually worked. I was surprised. I still haven't cleaned off all the brim material. Nylon's hard to trim and clean up, but you can see that was a... A successful print. I tried a few different sizes of belts. I think this one was made at the 730 and then I tried cutting it down a little bit see if I could get it a little tighter. But anyway the uh, real Gates belt showed up so I think I'm gonna be using that from now on. So I'm just gonna slip that over here make sure it's the right size. Yeah that's that's pretty tight. I can't slow that belt down. Whoa. Yeah, that one won't slow down on me. So anyway, I guess I got my belt fixed. So yeah, big thumbs up to uh, One Pet Palace. I'll put their eBay store listing. So if you have one of these uh, 9 by 20 import lathes, they all pretty much take this 5M730 belt. So the, these lathes have two belts. One is a cogged belt over here that does the main reduction. And then these are your six speeds. So you have a really slow speed here, 130 RPM. But what I find in that 130 is the belt slips in this pulley. So this is 300 RPM. And I think you get a better torque here then you've got 400 and then down here I think there's uh, 600 1000 and 2000 rpm I think I mainly run the 300 that seems to be a good compromise of torque and speed 
for most of the work I do. So I pretty much, like I say, leave it in this 300 RPM. So here, here we're running backwards. And you can see you don't get quite the torque in reverse because this tensioner pulley wants to lift up. When you're going backwards, the tension's on this upper belt and it pulls the tensioner up and then you lose tension on the rest of the belt and it slips. But yeah, big thumbs up to One Pet Palace for shipping that out nice and fast. So I'm back in business. I can start machining again. I was kind of limping by on this old belt because I figured one part jam up and this one was going to snap on me too. You can see how crooked it is. It's, it's got a, quite a few kinks in it. But that belt probably lasted a good five or six years. I think it was about that long ago I purchased the belt. And then this one lasted about a week because <laughs> I bought two at the same time. And then it was funny because this one started slipping. So I decided I was going to get a parts order, figure out what sort of parts I wanted to get for the lathe. I need a couple of items that are in need of repair. I figured, well, I got... I got a while because I just put on a new belt, started collecting my list of spare parts to order, and within a week, that one popped. Then I was without a belt, or I, all I have is this, this beat up belt that's it's in pretty sad shape. It's literally only got the uh, fibers holding it there. So I just wanted to show you replacing the belt on one of these. Pretty easy to do, but these um, metric belts, they're kind of a triangular shaped belt. They're not a regular trapezoidal sort of belt. And they're rather hard to find. But I found a couple places online that list them on eBay and you, you can buy them by part number. So yeah, definitely definitely go for the Gates belt. It seems to be the best of all of these that I've felt. And that's the perfect fit. And then there is my attempt at 3D printing one. I did get some flexible filament, thermoplastic polyurethane filament, and I think I might try printing a polyurethane belt just to see how it works. I don't know if the polyurethane will have any more grip than the nylon. The problem is it may be stretchy. The nylon is definitely not stretchy. I mean, that is, that's as hard as I can pull, and <laughs> it won't break. I mean, that... And that's tiny, you know, it's only a little over four millimeter on a side triangle there. Very small cross section, but most of it was printed with the extruder going around and around. And what I was thinking would be kind of neat if you had a dual extruder with the polyurethane and the nylon is do a polyurethane outer shell and then a nylon inner shell on this belt which would give you the rubber exterior and then you'd have the nylon fiber on the interior that would be kind of interesting if you could get it to print but that that would probably be a very difficult print because nylon's hard to print and i understand the flexible filaments are also hard to print so that would be a real challenge and i, I don't have a dual extruder so yeah i thought i'd show you the belt replacement on my Grizzly G4000 lathe. i got to go back to work. If you have any questions about that, uh, post up in the comment section below the video description. And as always, thanks for watching.